Hello and welcome to this tech tip. Today we wanted to show you how to customize toolbars in IBM SVSS statistics. My name is Astrid Cook and I'm an analyst here at version one. So did you know you can easily customize your toolbar in SVSS? SVSS allows you to customize existing toolbars and you can even create new toolbars to suit your needs. So toolbars can contain any available tools for all menu actions. They can also have custom tools. So for example, if I use a particular syntax file a great deal, I can create a tool for that on the toolbar and I can run that syntax at the touch of a button. So let's see how this works in SVSS. So I'm in SVSS and to get started, I want to go on the view menu. So I'll click on view and I'll come down to toolbars. So from toolbars, I will click on the customize option. Now this brings up the show toolbars window. And it gives me two buttons, a new button and an edit button. Now if I click on new, I can create a new toolbar. So I'll call this transform. And then I'll click on the edit button. Now, if I use a lot of transformations in my work, perhaps I do a lot of automatic recoding, computing, count values within cases, I use the date and time wizard, I can click continue and then click OK. And can you see now it's put the tools on its own transform toolbar. If I want to, I'll go on the view menu. I'll come to toolbars. I'll go to customize. I can also get rid of this toolbar if I don't want it anymore, so I can click on delete. So it will say, are you sure you want to delete toolbar transform? I'll say yes and click OK. So it's very easy. You can create your own custom toolbar with the tools that you need. Now, I also want to show you how to create a custom tool. So if I go on the view menu again, and I come down to toolbars, and I select customize. Now I'll click on the edit button, and I want to go down to user defined and create a new tool. So I'm going to call this analysis. Now this will run a syntax file, so I need to browse. I'll select the syntax file. See it's picked it up. I'll click continue. And then this new analysis tool I'll drag down onto the toolbar. And I'll click continue and I'll click OK. Now you can see I've got a new tool here. It's called analysis. It's sitting on my toolbar and that will run a series of analyses from that syntax file. So let me click on this button. And now you can see it's running all of the output. So you can automate your work if you need to. So again, to customize your toolbar, go to the view menu, come to toolbars, and use the option to customize. So that's everything we wanted to show you today. For more tech tips, you can go to the tech tips section within the Learning Hub. Of course, you can contact us at svssadmin at version1.com. You can phone us, and you can check out our website at www.svssanalyticspartner.com. So thanks for watching, and bye for now.